We're here with Gary Carter, local Brighton yoga instructor known for his anatomical knowledge. Gary, tell us about the foot. Oh, the foot. Well, you've got two of them, luckily, or hopefully. <laughs> really? um, the foot structure really is, is a very interesting piece of our kit. Um, given the amount of arches that are organised within the foot, um, most people think they've got to have really high arches a lot of the time, or they want to have high arches, but actually a high arch is just as uh, damaging to the structure than an arch that collapses. What we want to find within the foot is something that's functional. You go to a lot of Eastern cultures, and the way their feet tend to settle into the ground, they look as if they've completely flattened, mm. but it's a foot that's sensitive and responsive to the ground. So it detects change, it feels, you walk on an uneven surface, your foot's feeling that all the time. Um, interestingly, if the foot's not relaxed when it's touching the surface, whatever the foot doesn't do, those tensions from the foot travel further up into the body, so the knee would accommodate for what the foot's not doing, okay, so the knee or the hip up. would accommodate yeah. for what the foot's not doing, or the knee, hip and pelvis might accommodate for the foot's, right. what the foot's not doing. So once we can start to get more dexterity and intelligence through the foot, then the loads above can be accepted well by the foot, and then interestingly, there's a rebound once again. So you've got these spring-type structures that are arranged in here, very cleverly put together. However that was designed, whoever put it together. 